What's going on, guys? Mike with Benchmark Supply, and today we're going over Topcon's HV2S Laser Manager app. This is the now remote control in which you can use to control your HV2S, and we're going to break down all the settings within it. So first thing you're going to want to do is download Topcon Laser Manager from the App Store. Uh, it's going to look like this, and I, in this case, I already downloaded it, but once you're downloaded, you're going to click Open. All right, so on first notice, it's pretty simple. Um, you have three icons. The book is going to be some of your documentations and settings. The second icon is the remote in which we're going to add devices. Um, and then this last one is going to be calibration, which we'll cover in a little bit. All right, so when you first want to get your HV2 as set up with Laser Manager, you're going to click the top right icon, and you're going to click the plus button. Now, I already have my HVS turned on, and you can see the app recognizes that, and what I'm going to do is just click Pairing. And it's that quick. Now, my app is communicating with the laser. Um, and if I had multiple lasers, or maybe I had a Topcon TPL6, or even the LSB200, you'd actually be able to see all of these devices paired with my Laser Manager app. But in this case, I just have the one. So let's go and jump into some of the settings here. So you're going to click the RLHV2S, and right off the bat, it gives you the grade percentage, the RPMs, and actually which way the laser beam is emitting. Um, you can actually see the most south-facing is grayed out, and the first three, north, east, and west, are yellow. Uh, I'm sitting behind the laser in this case, and I don't want to hit my eyes, so we'll, we'll jump into that setting soon. Um, but let's go down the list. If you want to change the settings on the HV2S, you're going to press the remote button. And this icon right here is going to be how you change grade. So, in this case, let me put it to 1% uh, on the X. And let's do 2% on the Y. I'm going to click Set. And now I can actually see my laser. It's thinking and rearranging. And you'll actually hear it. The laser should pause. And within a couple of seconds, you'll be back up and ready to go. So setting grain is that simple. Just remember, you have to click the remote button. Uh, sometimes it gets a little tricky because these two um, screens look very similar. Um, but once you click the remote button, it's that easy to change grade. I'm just going to actually set everything back at zero. It's just a little easier to work with. Okay, so we're going to change that back to zero. You actually know the laser is thinking um, by this icon in the top left that appears above it. So once that goes away, then your laser is back up and spinning. It's kind of a handy feature to have, especially if you are... 500 feet from the laser, you don't know when it's actually spinning again. So super, super handy to note that. Now, jumping into the settings, you have matching mode, manual line control, mass setting, rotation speed, manual mode, sleep mode, and safety lock. So let's go down that list. Now, matching mode, okay? This is Topcon's manual grade match. All right, now you'll never actually be able to display the percentage of grade you're matching, but if you are familiar with grade match, what you would do is you would set the laser up at one end of, let's say, a driveway, and you would take a grade stick with the receiver on the other end, and you would manually push right or you push left in either the negative or positive X axis until you get on tone, on grade. So this is how you would actually grade match. Just note that when you do grade matching with the actual Topcon HV2S, it won't display it. So you won't know if it's a 1.27% grade or a 2.2. You just will match it, and you'll have to work off the existing grade. Okay? Now, going back to manual line control. This is when you are using the laser vertically. Um, in this case... I don't have my laser set up vertically, but if you're laying out, let's say, fencing or fence posts a uh, quarter mile and you want them to be along a straight line, you can actually rotate your HV2S so that the laser is spinning vertically 
and you'll be able to lay it out. So this manual line control, what it'll actually do is it'll let you control, uh, fine tune to move that laser a little bit left or to move it a little bit right. Okay. Now the masking setting, I touched upon it a little bit earlier, but this is in cases where you don't want the laser beam to emit in a certain direction. In my case, I'm indoors and I'm sitting behind the laser at eye level and I don't want that laser beam in my eyes. So I actually turned this off. Okay. I'm going to keep it off, but it also comes in handy if you have other lasers on the job site. And you could be potentially picking up other red beam lasers. So if you're working with a large construction crew, it's highly recommended to use the masking mode in only the areas you're working. So in this case, let's say I'll turn off both the north and the south. And boom, right then and there, you can actually see I'm only emitting the beam on the east and west ends. Alrighty, so let's jump back into it. You got to click here and here. Sometimes it's not a little intuitive, but uh, you'll figure it out easy enough. Rotation speed. Now, this is pretty straightforward at either 300 RPM or 600 RPM. In most cases, I always suggest going with 600 RPM. 300 RPM is a little bit easier if you're working indoors, but for the most part, just keep it at 600 RPMs. All right, now manual mode. This turns off the self-leveling function of the laser, and you use this for steep slope applications when you want to go up to about, let's say, 15% grade. I believe that's the maximum for the HV2S here. So, you know, you really won't touch this button unless you're doing uh, steep grade, okay? Sleep mode. What this does is put the laser in sleep, and if you're going on the job and maybe it's lunchtime or you got an hour or two break, It'll keep the laser on, and it'll have all your settings saved. And then when you come back and you just push the button again, it actually boots right up and you're ready to work. Um, from my experience, too, if you power off the laser, it actually remembers all your settings as well. So this is a little bit of a redundant feature in my opinion. But nonetheless, uh, it still is useful if you want to maybe take a 10, 20-minute break without having to go all the way across the job site to turn off the laser. Um, now, this last feature, safety lock. There's very limited information about this in the manual along with online, and I'm 99% sure it is referring to height alert. Um, now, if this is referring to height alert, what this does is if the laser has been spinning for more than one minute and it is disturbed, let's say by vibrations of a nearby excavator or you're working in the morning and the ground is really hard and then by midday it starts to thaw up and your laser slips, your laser will stop spinning, okay? And that's a great feature to have from an accuracy and quality assurance perspective. But sometimes, depending on the job site and with the work you're doing, it can be more of a hassle because it's constantly shutting the laser off. So if you need to turn off height alert, that is the safety lock feature. Not sure why they named it safety lock and not height alert, but that's for another day. So those are your main controls. Grade, and then you have all of the additional settings. So I did mention a few other things. Okay, you have your device info here, which will tell you your model and your serial number. You'll have your notifications as well. So this shows if you want to sound when uh, they show a message. Here is the documentation. I really like this. This is amazing to me. You have the manuals all built in. And then they tell you right here, self-inspection. This is how you can check calibration of your laser. It is not a button you're going to push, but more of a guide you are going to follow within the manual. Um you know, at Benchmark, look, we do this a lot for customers about once a year. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And if you have a large laser fleet, you know, your time is probably spent better elsewhere. But heck, if you do have the time, they actually give you the instructions to calibrate it now on your own. So something super, super handy. So again, this is Topcon's laser manager for the HV2S in a nutshell. Uh, any questions, concerns, drop a comment below. We'd we'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching and uh, give us a buzz at Benchmark. We'd be happy to get you benched in.